Hello, one, two review fans. It's Luke, the strip club DJ, and welcome into a very special mini cast of our show. Brandon is off at the beach at an undisclosed private vacation area on the East Coast. He's enjoying solstice temperaments and the North Atlantic Ocean. So it's West Coast boys only today. Well, kind of um, for what we're calling episode 7B, 7 beta sidecar episode 7B. Alex, uh, do you want to tell our listeners what we have in store for them today? Yeah, sure. We got some uh, ads that we weren't able to get into our last couple episodes because uh, our content's been so so much that we have just some extra sponsorship stuff we got to throw in there. We got that phone call uh, with Brandon lined up with the party provider, so we'll be talking to him and answering some listener mail with him, hopefully, uh, on the beach. So, uh, folks, settle in and enjoy episode 7B of 1-2 Review. Hit it! One. Alex, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm all right. I'm a little pumped out because I thought since Brandon was at the beach that we were going to take the week off. And uh, I don't really want to do a podcast because I, I thought uh, I was off today. But I'm not. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that sentiment, too. I thought I was going to be able to just lay in bed till 4 or 5 p.m. But unfortunately, I had to get up around noon to uh, handle this podcast with you. Mm-hmm. But glad you're here supporting me and helping me mm-hmm. out. Um, so a few things different about this episode, obviously we're going to phone into Brandon in a few moments here. Um, like you said, we're going to be taking care of those ads that we haven't addressed. We owe our sponsors, um, some ad time. So we're going to be running those, those ads and we'll be, I think, are we going to review those ads? Uh, I mean, I guess we could. Yeah. I guess we could review the ads. I think we probably should, but I mean, I will. I think we'll just have to give them two still because they're our sponsors. I'm not going to give a one to a sponsor. Right. But let's, that's, let's review them anyway. Yeah, that's, let's review them. Um, well, that's like a conflict of interest, right, that we'll have to sort through. Uh, yeah, or, as, or as just take through. the money and give it a two. Yeah. I, I might be giving twos today. So, let's yeah, let's review. Okay, okay. Well, I don't, I don't know what your ethical boundaries are like, your ethical guidelines are oh, like. I, th- mine, I think but... I just laid them out. Take that money. Okay, I guess I do know what your ethical guidelines are like. Mm-hmm. But uh, mine might be different. I don't know. We're going to leave that open as a surprise for our listeners. Um, so we'll be taking care of that business. Uh, and um, what else have we got? We've got that phone call with Brandon and some ads. And that's pretty much it, guys. <laughs> <About> it. <laughs> Just to rehash what I've already rehashed. Okay. Well, um, you want to take care of some listener mail? Or should we run this ad, this first ad here? Um, Let's drop an ad. Okay. Spanderson's goat meal. Let the other guys handle the oatmeal. Spanderson's knows goat meal. Okay, that's another great sponsor of ours that we gave a little trial run to. That was Spanderson's goat meal. Now, Alex, have you had a chance to try out this product? Uh, I have. I have. Yeah, I grew up on Alger's goat meal which is like a more midwestern goat meal so spanderson's is a little more it's got a little more kick to it or like i don't know what you call it it's not a paprika kind of taste to it but it's i don't know i kind of liken it to that but it's good i like it yeah that's grown in peppergrass country so that's got a spice here because of the clay content in the soil out in spanderson's country they have that um, they have spicier you know oats and grain that grow out there I think that's the explanation that I got from their their press releases, at least over from Spanderson's. Agers Agers is still a classic, a little more refined, um, and and uh, like you said, I, n- not the same kind of a flavor profile Spanderson's. But I, I don't really eat goat meal. I, I try to I try to get that to the goats out here in the California hills. Yeah, yeah. Well, either way, I think it's a delicious goat meal, and uh, I give it a solid two. Yeah, agreed. Uh, solid. I give it a two. Thank you, Spandersons, for supporting One Two Review. All right. So, uh, should we get to a little listener mail? I think so. And then we'll try to handle this call with our buddy Brandon. I know he's out there on the East Coast, soaking up some cosmic rays. Mm-hmm. And we have a. Uh, uh, we hope people will be able to call in soon, but right now we have uh, listener mail, and we have a uh, we've hired a or commissioned I don't know what you call it enslaved a robot to read the questions for us. So yeah, we'll bring Brandon on here. We'll have a robot read these questions for us, and uh, uh, we'll answer the listener mail. 
So uh, let's hit Brandon up. Okay, right on. That's an interesting reek tone. Just waiting for Brandon there on the East Coast. Just waiting for him to, you know, he's probably toweling Hello? off or something. Hey, Brandon. How'd you get this number? I just picked up this seashell and I hear your guys' voice. So I'm curious how, how you got this phone number. That is curious. Yeah. Um, well, you know, my mom, she, her mom, my mom and your mom have been longtime friends. So they were just worried about your safety. So they sent, they sent you along with that seashell. They packed it in your cooler. So, wow. Incredible. Great foresight, Luke. How are you guys? What are you up to today? We're good. Uh, we called you because uh, we got some listener mail, and we'd like to have your input. We don't want to answer the questions without uh, you there. Okay. Yeah, let's get this done quick, though. Yeah, what do you got going out there? You, it sounds like you're busy kite surfing, and I don't know. I, I mean, uh, my, my parents checked your activities roster. Was that ocean fishing? And I hope you're just being safe out there, you know, being careful with your body and and, I'm being uh, so safe, man. It's incredible. We're we're drinking heavily. We're laying in the hot sun almost all day. We're eating very little. And uh, I'm actually going to this jiggle contest later. It sounds like a real funny thing. We're all just going to jiggle as much as we can. And then whoever wins gets to bike. And then they ride the bike off into the sunset. So. That's the dream, man. So, wow. Um, so lots of drinking and partying out there. Brandon, you've been getting plenty of food, right? I haven't been eating great. Um I took this week's scramble box with me. Did you guys eat your scramble box this week? No, we just popped it in the fridge. We're waiting for um, we're waiting for breakfast. The scrim scram sm- smelt a little weird, but I just I went with it, and I feel a little weird now. But the more I jiggle, like my body, the better I feel. So I'm just gonna keep jiggling like as hard as I can and see if I feel better see if that works okay well do to our listeners just know that Brandon has been drinking heavily he's been exposing himself to the sun dehydrating and there's a lot of other factors in play that could be giving him those physical effects so I'm doubting right now that it's the scramble box thank you scramble box for sponsoring the show and Brandon I really do um hope you you pull through and, and get some food in you man uh, maybe try another scrim scram or um get a couple eggy poos in you and see if that helps Thanks, Mother Hen. Yeah, I know. I know. I can't help it. That's just in my nature. Great. Well, yeah. So do we have... how? Do, uh, what's going on with these questions? Yeah, so you know we've got a huge following. Patreon listeners donated over four, 540000 for that abacus. And um, so we've got a lot of people that really love the show, that love us. And we get tons and tons of mail. It all ends up in our office, uh, in our inbox, and um, in bags that we keep in the garage and uh, we thought we'd just pick out a few select questions and 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 sort of pitch them around the pitch them around the table and see what we think yeah cool well let's uh let's listen to one of these here's our first question hi my name is a bill how did you guys come up with the one to review rating system oh that's a good one that's a really good one well um you guys remember this in our early earliest days of incepting one to review we had the 46 star system Mm -hmm. and do you remember how long those podcasts took yeah yeah we whittled it down i mean there was so much calculating that was necessary when we had that many stars each so there were stars for costumes points that could be awarded for uh, cinematography points that could be awarded for script um, the boxing of DVDs, if they were DVD'd, um, yeah, all kinds of things that those stars went to. So we decided to just make it a lot easier whether we liked it or not, one or two. Yeah, we really refined this machine as we went along. So, yeah, two is the sleekest we could get, the fastest and the, the best. Mm-hmm. And and to be fair, to, to pay homage to our predecessors, Siskel and Ebert really did sort of pioneer this. I know they had a zero, in their rating system um but thumbs up thumbs down you know um well actually now that i think about it, that's kind of a five-star system eh, i don't know uh i think they brought on the concept of two of sort of four star hand. system four hands four hands but i don't know but then there's a no thumbs up right 
Thumbs down, thumbs up. I guess you're right. That's interesting. I don't know. Did they ever give no thumbs up on Siskel and Ebert? Don't know. Did they ever just cross their arms and sit there and and just like fish around in their popcorn? Probably. I think so. But anyway, shout out to Siskel and Ebert. Thanks, guys, for sort of uh, bringing on the idea of a binary rating system. Speaking of binary, how's that robot doing? That question sounded pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's it. There might be more in this thing. Uh, let's uh, take another one. It, it came pre-programmed with how many questions in it? It's got 75 questions, so I hope you have time. Well, I can get a couple done, so let's cool. go. We'll see. All right. Next question. Bob, 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 Bob. Dear one to review crew, Jacob here, longtime listener, first time caller. I have a simple question for all three of you. What movies inspired you to become reviewers? Um, there is a movie. It's an animated feature. Uh, I think it came out in 82. I was born in 85, so this movie is around a little bit. But uh, it's called Black Pegasus, and it's, uh, again, an animated film about a black Pegasus, clearly. Um, it's a fantasy film. And I remember watching that movie and first being kind of enthralled by the spectacle of uh, something on TV. This was, we had a recorded VHS version of it that we watched a lot of times. There was, you know, there was like grocery store ads in it uh, that, you know, for me were just part of the whole, I, I don't know, it's complicated, but there, there was this film that I really loved uh, as a child called Black Pegasus. So that that's the one for me. Um, what about you guys? Yeah. Wow. This, uh, that's interesting you bring up the nostalgia because definitely I remember at a young age loving reviewing things. And um, I think it was uh, Pete Goes to Christmas, also on VHS. And it's strange as you bring up the ads. I think we recorded it off of TV. It was a made-for-TV movie called Pete Goes to Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And it was recorded off of a Vietnamese um, uh, cable channel. So it was all subtitles. And um, it was Pete running around the town shopping for things. And, you know, he would sing, I don't like it. I don't like it. I do like it. I do like it. And um, that inspired me. Wow. What if I could go out in the world and really make a change with letting people know if I do or don't like it in Vietnamese? And I picked up a little Vietnamese, too. Um, I know how to say boom boy. I know how to say, uh, well, that's about it. I know how to say boom boy. Yeah, great answers, guys. Very uh, intriguing. For me, it's another childhood classic, again, recorded uh, on a bootleg VHS version of it. Um, definitely, for me, it would be the original clay Doh movie. I just have never seen anything like that before. I remember I had to tell all my friends about it. Um, and then shortly thereafter, I saw like a behind-the-scenes kind of uh, making of clay Doh, and it really fascinated me. And, you know, I, could, I just couldn't watch enough of it or... I just kept watching it over and over and over again. So Clay-Doh, a childhood classic. Um, I know hopefully in a couple of weeks we're going to try to knock out a nostalgia episode where we can review some of these classics. Um, but, um, yeah, definitely for me, Clay-Doh. Yeah, and they still keep cranking out those hits. Die, do die. I really hope that's not the end of the Clay-Doh series, but it sounds like coming up in 2018, this, that might be the end. Uh, no, there's too I, much money in it. I see, that's it. what I think. That's what I think, yeah. But definitely clay dough and then that first major hit crumble dough those really did it for me when i was a kid too don't know that they inspired me to be a reviewer but they definitely inspired me to be a fan of film cool i guess just end the call with me and then oh no i got a question oh that's right you do have a question i got a question okay okay so this comes in from uh mike from minnesota wants to know who is the sweatiest Ooh, I think I'm the sweatiest, probably. I'm a pretty sweaty guy. Well, um, I don't know how to quantify that. Yeah, it's... right now it's me, boys, soaking up these sun rays. So I am sweaty. Haven't showered in in a couple of days. So this is island life, you know. Island brandy. So they call me out here, just practicing my jiggles, really getting the sweat up. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I guess Brandon's the sweatiest then. I'll, sweatiest uh, overall, or sweatiest just right now? I don't know. He didn't specify, but uh, Brandon seemed currently. Pretty, currently, pretty, it's pretty me. eager to grab it. Okay, we'll go with right now. Brandon being the sweatiest. I have a life uh, life support system, 
in my room, I have a 12,000 BTU AC unit because it just got too freaking hot here in California. And I got fed up one day and just went out and dropped $150 on a, on a portable AC. So no, no shock there that Alex is sweating his ass off in the other room and I'm nice and cool. I think if oh, I yeah. didn't have it, I'd probably be a contender for sure. It's cool. I took, uh, how much did you pay for it? 150. Yeah. I take my 150 and I turn it into a little fan and I just fan myself with it. Oh, you spent $150 to build a fan. With $150, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, that's got to be that's got to be the money right there, right? It's that's great, guys. Money. I'm I'm still on the beach, so can we wrap this up soon? <clears throat> okay, Brandon, but... I don't know how bef- many minutes. This, before this we go, I just, I just want to remind you to stay on the horn, keep that clamshell around. Please, please uh, keep sunscreen on all the dogs out there. I know that they don't do well without a little sunscreen on their fur and watch your back okay i mean literally care for your back care for your body i know the jiggle um contest is going to be wild and all that ocean fishing metal detecting uh beach dog frisbee and all the rest um, is is a lot of fun but it can be physically exhausting so uh stay don't worry about me guys i do don't worry worry about me i'm having a great time i do worry because my mother texted me told me to worry well i know but yeah um great <laughs> Bye. Don't get crabs. Don't get crabs. Bye. See ya. Bye. Well, that was a lot of fun seeing, uh, listening to Brandon, hearing his voice. Mm-hmm. It was. I miss um, him. Yeah, I miss him too. And he really does a lot for the podcast. I didn't really think he did, but uh, when it's just me and you, we got to work a lot harder. Yep. He does a lot of the heavy lifting on this podcast. Sure All right. So let's kick another ad and go ahead and review it. Oh, we should probably review uh, taking listener mail with Brandon on the beach. Oh, right. Which, which I give a two. two. Really? Yeah. I I um, I thought those questions were um, they were so so, but I think our responses really brought that segment to life. So I give it a two. Um. Yeah. So again, that's great. That was great talking to Brandon. I really do hope he's having a safe and fun time out there. Um, we got some more ads to cover for our listeners. Thank you for bearing with us. Um, you know, like I said, this is just kind of a little extra content. That's why it's seven B. That's why it's a sidecar episode. Um, just for everyone who just needs the one, two review fix out there. We got a little extra in this episode. Um, we're going to run an ad right now and go ahead and review it. Uh, hit it. Archive Logic is the world's leading hard copy archivist and generator. We specialize in creating hard copies of practically any data file on your computer or network. No format, OS, or specialization is outside of our expertise. You choose the acid-free paper medium and ink. We will organize and box your hard copies to your specifications. Your hard copies are then stored on your private or business property to maximize physical space utilization. Do not trust the cloud. Do not trust magnetic laser or IC medium. Trust archive logic. Okay, so uh, Alex, have you ever tried anything like this um, sort of archival um, data data storage, data backup service? I have not, um, but my father restores antiquarian books. So, you know, I think he would probably believe in this. He likes acid-free paper. Uh, Yeah. That's the the closest I can like into it. I don't imagine using this service anytime in the future, only not because it's not a good service, but only because it's uh, pretty expensive. It's a pretty expensive service, but uh, well, but a good one. Yeah, I mean, but if you need someone you can trust to to take your files and do what Archive Logic does with your files, your your dad does he scan these books? Into, oh no, 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 into data. Yeah, no, so he, he wouldn't really even trust. be able to. I think he would trust Archive Logic for sure. Yeah, but he couldn't even use their services because it's got to be data to mm-hmm. it's got to be data to hard copy. Sure. Um, just an amazing service and extremely professional. You can tell from their ad that they're serious about um, customer care and making yeah. sure that your hard copy solution is handled with absolute precision. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I give I give Archive Logic, although I haven't. They they gave me a free trial. They'll archive um, ten files for me, 
Um, so I haven't tried it yet. I'm interested. I'm picking out my files. Uh, and I give it a two because just their dedication to precision is insane. So Archive Logic gets a two for me. Yeah, two for me for supporting the podcast. Right. Well, can you break, you can't rate the product at all or? I mean, I, I, you know, I feel like I just kind of did. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know the product cause I haven't used it. I, I, I do appreciate, uh, like I said, uh, I appreciate what they're doing. Okay, good. I'll take that as a win. Do you need an instant bunny delivered to you anytime, day or night? No questions asked? We understand. Bun.ie allows you to select from a wide variety of bunny breeds and can guarantee a two-hour delivery window. Hop online now at Bun.ie. That's B-U-N-N dot I-E. Aw, I love bunnies. Um, I give Bun.ie a two. Yeah, I've uh, always been a fan of animals. I had a pet rat growing up, lived on a small farm. Uh, we had rabbits, and so, yeah, we love love bunnies, love rabbits. So especially if we can get one in two hours, it's great. I give this uh, product a two. Sweet. All right, let's keep it moving. Um, one final ad for our listeners. Let's see. Oh, wow, is this Scramble Box? Yeah. All right, yeah. Let's, let's hear that Scramble Box ad. Scramble Box is simplifying your morning routine. No more scrambling for cereal or rumbling tummies or rambling grumpily at your spouse or mummy. It's Scramble Box. We send you pre-mixed scramble bundles, enough to make four eggy scrams. All you need is eggy waggies. One dozen scrimmy scrams to picky poo. Try our spring mix, the sneaky greeky, or the pig pile. It's a lot of fun choosing and simple since there are only 12 to choose from. Use promo code REVIEW and get a free eggy poo with your first order at scramblebox.com. That's scramblebox.com. Um, another great ad. And uh, I just want to make this review real quick. Haven't had a chance to try this out, but I hear good things from the West Coast and the East Coast. Thank you, Brandon, for that too, for Scramblebox. And uh, I give it a two as well. Yeah, and in fact, Kook, our scramble box did arrive, and uh, it's in the fridge waiting for breakfast tomorrow morning. So we will uh, try it out tomorrow. But for now, I'm giving it a two. It's nicely packaged. Can't wait. All right. Well, that about wraps her up. Alex, you got anything else you want to add for our listeners? Uh, no, not really. Not really. I mean, yeah, there's the abacus stuff, but I don't really want to talk about it right now. You know, Mom's the still, word right now. That, sorting that stuff out. There's some, yeah. there's some stuff going on with the abacus, but no big deal. Uh, yeah, that's why we didn't really have a review system today. We were thrown off last minute, but uh, it's cool. It's cool. We're going to figure it out this week, and we'll be uh, back with the abacus next week. Thank you, Alex, and thank you, listeners, for listening to our 7B I don't know, sort of experimental episode of 1-2 Review. We'll be back next week with a brand new real episode of One Two Review, including such movies as Dino Galaxy, It's a White Thing, My Grandfather's Girlfriend, Cascade, and Doggy Docare, another from the Doe series. We're excited to see those movies, and we're excited to see you guys next week on another episode of One Two Review. We'll see ya. Ba -ba 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 -ba.